Brick Baby wanted to be the bigger person because he felt like he was wrong. You did what I'm saying? But also, I feel like Brick didn't know how ATK was coming. I feel like Brick didn't really know how ATK was stepping. Gang, gang. Man, what's happening, man? What up with y'all, man? Welcome back to the channel, man. Back to another video. I go by done, man. If you new, go ahead and do me a solid, man. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, make sure you ring that bell. Ring that bell. Make sure you hit all. Gang, we got some good content for y'all tonight, bro. Nah. It's crazy, man. We got we got Brick Baby, Young and A's, ATK, those guys, you feel me? And like, I don't know where y'all been at or if y'all like tapped into this right here, but it's very crazy, man, the whole situation. Well, just to give you guys a whole rundown, man, if you did not know, Brick Baby basically uh, went on no jumper and he made some crazy accusations about ATK. You feel what I'm saying? Which is Young and Ace's crew. You dig? He was basically like after the Julio Fulio murder, right? Like six ATK members died. Like six. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, I dig it, man. Uh, Brick came back and said it was like some kind of clickbait channel he was watching where he, where he was getting his information from. I dig that because as bloggers, you know what I'm saying, sometimes we can get false information. That's why you, you're supposed to say allegedly or like somebody like Brick, I feel like he could have tapped in with Young and Ace or tapped in with somebody from Duval, you know what I mean, and been like, hey, is this accurate? You dig? He, he's on a high enough level when it comes to podcasting and when it comes to basically blogging and, and like y'all like to say reporting, I feel like he should have basically been able to tap in and just get accurate information. Like, he ain't like me, bro. Like, me, I don't know none of them niggas, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not at a level where I can just get on the phone and call Young and Ace or get on the phone and call somebody who, you know what I'm saying, close to Fulio and see what's accurate, what's going on in Duval. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting over here, you know what I mean, in the Peach State doing my thing. You feel what I'm saying? So, even though it's not even right for a blogger like me to come with false accusations or false information, you feel me? Like, that's not right at all. So, somebody like Brick is for sure not right. So, Brick said six ATK members dropped out the Fulio died. You feel me? And then a lot of ATK members, like that boy ATK, Kesey, uh, File Out, Sosa, uh, GMK, all those guys. Those guys went at Brick Baby's head, bro. You feel me? So, after all of that, Brick had this to say. I'm hood. trying to get. Good. I bet you I, on on rolling sixties. I bet you young and ace don't do no until we holler. Yeah. I bet you don't do no shows in Atlanta because mm -hmm. I'm the king around. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you won't be doing no shows in Atlanta. You won't be doing no shows in the Carolina. Nothing around there, mm -hmm. bro. Like come on, man. Like like I ain't even tripping because your boys is getting into it. But at the end of the day, all y'all got to do is say. Yeah, we overreact that you said because I said I watched the clickbait video. Right. But the mm -hmm. way popping it don't never say so. dead homies. I'm from six. Mm -hmm. No, uh, we bar enough to give six. So, as y'all heard, bro, Brick banned them boys from Atlanta. Say he the king of Atlanta. I don't understand that whatsoever, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what kind of street ties Brick Baby has in Atlanta, but as far as being the king of Atlanta, I wouldn't say he was the king of Atlanta. You feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of street guys in Atlanta that you could call the king, like Rollo. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and I know I report on Rollo and sometimes it be kind of negative, but Rollo did his thing in the streets. I think Rollo is way more valid in Atlanta than Brick Baby. I mean, what about Pee Wee Longway? What about Gucci Mane, bro? Come on, bro. What about T.I., bro? What about Future? What about um Big Bank Black? Like, it's a lot of guys that are basically famous that basically has popularity that did their things in the streets of Atlanta. What about Young Thug? What about Lucci? What about guys we don't even know about, bro? You know what I'm saying? I got a cousin that I know did hit things in the streets of Atlanta. You feel what I'm saying? Like, what about him? You did? So for Brick Baby to be like, I'm the king and that right now. I feel like he was just yapping, he was just talking, he was just doing the little podcast thing. That's just how I feel. But then he said something about the Carolinas, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you can't go to the Carolina, you know what I'm saying? So, ATK and Young A showed up at the Carolinas and they did a couple of shows. Thank 
Nah, as y'all can see, man, them ATK guys, they really moving around like, bro, we ain't worried about nothing, bro. You did what I'm saying? Like, and I'm thinking, like, what is Brick Baby thinking? Like, he's really putting his foot in his mouth to try to ban those guys from a place that he isn't even from. I can see if he would have said they can't come to the 60s. You know what I'm saying? Now, that would have been like, oh, they can't come to the 60s. You did what I'm saying? But to say, like, they can't come to Atlanta and the Carolinas and Alabama, like, Brick, who? And then against Brick Baby. I, I, I kind of like what Brick doing. You did what I'm saying? He changed his life around, bro. He putting a new perspective on the whole uh, gang culture in L.A. And he's showing guys from L.A. like, bro, you can become a podcaster. You can really get some money. You know what I'm saying? You can wear the big Cubans. You can live in the nice cribs. You can drive the nice cars and stuff. So I dig that. You feel me? But, like, to Brick, bro, don't get on this internet making a fool out of yourself for Adam, bro. Because I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. And the reason I say Brick is making a fool out of himself for Adam is because... That boy GMK decided to pull up on Brick. You know what I'm saying? When I say pull up on him, y'all know I'm talking about this internet stuff. I'm talking about it in the YouTube streets. I'm talking about it in the Instagram streets. He pulled up on him, bro. You know what I'm saying? By way, a uh, uh, Carolina promoter linked him up. You feel what I'm saying? And Brick Baby ended up apologizing. Now, nah, listen to this, though. Off the rip, off the rip, I spoke on y'all's situation, so I'd be the bigger man right now, okay? Because we ain't going to get nowhere. Look, I spoke on y'all's situation. It was wrong, right? On 6 so. You got that. I'm going to clear the air. I spoke on something that I didn't know about, right? Nah. I understand where Brick coming from. Brick Baby wanted to be the bigger person because he felt like he was wrong. You did what I'm saying? But also, I feel like Brick didn't know how ATK was coming. I feel like Brick didn't really know how ATK was stepping. I feel like Brick thought these was just some misguided teens from Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida, and he can play with them boys. Even though I do feel like they're very misguided, bro. But those guys have calculated moves, bro. You got to understand, dog. Those guys are warring every single day. Not saying Brick Baby is not warring. Brick Baby, he's a, he's a rolling 60s crip, so his life is in danger as soon as he step out of the house, too. But this is the thing. Brick cannot think that L.A. guys are the only guys who are savages. He cannot think that L.A. guys are the only guys who basically have to fight for their life daily, bro. I'm pretty sure Young and Ace be watching his back every chance he get, bro. You know what I'm saying? No matter where he at, bruh. When you come from a lifestyle like that, bruh. When you have basically lost your homies, almost lost yourself. So, like, to break, baby, bro. Don't be thinking you just the hardest gangster around, bruh. It's gangsters everywhere, bruh. You feel what I'm saying? I know you probably can push certain buttons and you probably can tell somebody in Atlanta to go here. You can tell somebody in Florida to go here. You can tell somebody in North Carolina to go here. That's cool, bruh. But at the end of the day, bruh, it didn't even have to get this far because you spoke on a situation that you really don't know nothing about, bro. And you should have came out and caught the plea from the jump, bro. When Foul Out Social went at you and ATK Kesey called Cap, you should have got on the internet and said, my bad. Hey, I, I, I saw something on the internet and I uh reacted to it. My bad, bro. But instead, you tried to be rah-rah with these guys. You tried to little boy these guys and they had to show you like, bro, nigga. I go through things every day, bro. It's, it's, it's guys I grew up with who became my ops and now they trying to kill me, bro. I got partners in the penitentiary facing life sentences too, bro. You know what I'm saying? The rolling 60s crew ain't the only ones out here warring, bro. And I feel like that's where ATK was coming from. Now, me personally, bro, I don't stand for none of the violence, bro. I don't stand for none of the street stuff. I'm a law-abiding citizen, man. I pay my taxes. But if I was in the streets, bro, I don't want to let Brick play with me like that either. So I understand them ATK guys. And at the end of the day, bro, they got an apology, bro. You feel me? Nah. I heard P. Nice say something about Brick that I believe is true. And if you don't know who P. Nice is, he's an insane crook from Long Beach, Florida. Him and Brick Baby are beefing right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like... The L.A. gang culture crazy. You have Crips beefing with Crips, Bloods beefing with Bloods. It's just crazy in L.A. You feel me? But well, P. Nice is a Long Beach Crip, but P. Nice went on this podcast and he said, Brick Baby is the type of guy. He's going to agree with whoever he's around at the moment, bro. You feel me? And with the whole GMK live, bro, I can see that, bro. 
You know what I mean? He 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 says he say stuff like I'm being the bigger person, but at the end of the day, bro, you did a lot of rah rah, bro, and then you got on that live and you and, and you were copping, please, bro. And I believe GMK like maybe ten years younger than you, maybe five years younger. You older than him, bro, and and and, and that legit made you basically copper plea. Shout out to GMK, shout out to ATK, man. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, man, I wish the uh, violence in Jacksonville can stop. Because like I told y'all, I just love Duval County. It's a very beautiful city, bro. It's a lot of things to do in Duval, man. You know what I'm saying? So I wish the violence could stop. But a lot of times, like, when I ain't when I ain't got nothing to do with that, I ain't got nothing to do with that, bro. And I feel like a lot of blood has been shed and no violence is going to stop no time soon. You feel me? But to Brick, stay out of that, bro. Stay with the L.A. politics. Stay with the L.A. culture, bro. Stay out of the Atlanta, Alabama, Carolina, Florida, all of that, bro. Stay out of that, dog. You feel me? And stop making a fool out of yourself for that white boy. You dig what I'm saying? In the meantime, between time, baby, I go by done. Y'all don't forget to come and like, subscribe to that channel. Don't forget to ring that bell. Ring that bell. Make sure you hit all. 2400 by tomorrow. 3K, we on the way. 10K, we on the way, man. I'm going to get that 100K plaque in a minute, man. See y'all on this one. Let's get it. Gang.